play the last one of like all yeah. the history and know what all this means and everything? Same, same questions again. I'll answer them the same way. <laughs> Is that crazy? I mean, it, it, it did dawn on me. I mean, obviously things happen in sport, but we're sitting there talking about what this means and all the history and all, and, and, and then you don't even get the fight? Yeah, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I've had like 50 fights, 50 pro fights, and it, that's, that's never happened to me. So, you know, I, I guess there's a, uh, a time for everything. Yeah. When did you find out? How, how did it all go down with you, find out you weren't fighting? Um, you know, I, I was in the back and, and uh, saw kind of not necessarily saw him him you know collapse but you know her, saw everything kind of go down and then the paramedics come in and um sean shelby came up to me right away and said that you know uh bobby was sick and going to the going to the hospital so kind of knew at that point that it's like slim to none that something was you know that the fight was going to go on so um yeah it was just kind of a, a waiting game it took a couple of hours for them to finally make the call yeah so what was your strategy i mean is it uh let's you know, try to stay in shape and book something right away. Is it, well, now we need some time off? I mean, what, what was your play, your play from there? Uh, try to book something right away. You know, um, I, I just didn't really want to fight. I know there was a card like two weeks after that, and after the weight cut, I, I didn't want to do that again. You know, like fly back to Jersey and then literally a week later fly back here. Um, you know, so that, that, wasn't, uh, that wasn't part of the plan. So, you know, fortunately, Sean was able to, you know, bust his butt and get me a fight, uh, you know, couple weeks or it took like I don't know 10 days so you know it was about eight weeks since then something like that yeah so physically I mean was this a good length of time it did give you a chance to like you said kind of stay in shape but at the same time not put your body through a weight cut again right yeah yeah it was actually it worked out pretty well you know uh, I had a good couple weeks of uh, of training my weight was low you know to begin with so you know there really wasn't any any struggle with that and and uh, you know I've been feeling good the last couple weeks so it's uh, it, 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 it sucks being on the sidelines for eight months, uh, but uh, yeah, whatever. You, you, you know, like shit happens. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm ready to fight and feeling good. So nice. What do you think of the matchup? I mean, I'm, I don't I don't know if it's a guy you knew. I mean, I know he's on the East Coast scene and mm -hmm. stuff. Did you know much about him? Uh, know a little bit about him. Yeah, you know, uh, no, he's a he's a very good grappler. You know, so um, it's uh, it, it's a fight that I've had plenty of times you know uh, I mean I've I've fought guys who are credentialed you know better credentialed grapplers than he is and I've subbed out guys who are better credentialed grapplers than he is but you know you throw strikes in the mix and you throw you know the fight atmosphere in the mix and a lot of that shit just goes out the window so uh, yeah it's a it's a it's a fight against a very dangerous up-and-comer um, you know a bit younger than me, you know, a guy that's that's chomping at the bit to make his name in the division. So, um, it's a it's a place that I've been before, uh, you know, myself as him, and it's a it's a it's an opponent that I've had before as well. So, um, it's it's just a fight, you know. At this point, it's like, yeah, man, there's 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 been quite a few at this point. So, you know, um, I I get fired up for every one of them. I, I'm excited to to come out here and go through. Go through this the stuff like trying on new outfits and stuff, you know get size for the new fight kit or or do the do the the shadow boxing and the the posing pictures over and over and over again but it's it's part of the it's part of the deal so uh yeah at this point it's like a, a, you kind of miss it when it's not there so um yeah i'm, I'm just i I enjoy every experience that I can get when I when I have the opportunity to fight. That's awesome. Last thing for me, what's the plan moving forward? I mean, obviously a win here. Uh, do you want now? Do you want time off because you kind of did like back to back camps, or do you feel like hey, if we're in good shape and we're good, let's just keep rolling? What's what's the idea? Uh, I I don't like the layoff, the long layoffs. Honestly, uh, I I would like to fight. You know, come out of this one healthy and and fight uh, on the McGregor Poirier card. Um, you know, I think that's a good time frame for me. I can I can ease up for a couple of weeks and then just not get too like out of shape or, or put on weight and and just get right back into the grind and and uh, and keep things going. Um, you know, so that's that's my plan. We'll see if uh, we'll see we'll see if the stars align and and the matchmaking can work for me and and uh, you know we'll go from there. Just a quick one for me. When you know you. You're at that stage and you're about to fight and then you suddenly realize it's not going to happen, the opponent's out. Can you talk to me, what does that feel like emotionally? Because you put lots of physical and mental effort into getting to that point. When you realize it's taken away from you at that late stage, what is it like to just sit there and be like, oh my God? 
Uh, it sucks. It, it, it really sucks, you know. Um, I, I enjoy it, you know. <laughs> like, there, there are plenty of fighters that have, have said in the past that they, that they don't like fighting. Um, I, I do. You know, sometimes it sucks, sometimes it hurts, and, and you know, it's, 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 sometimes it's not that much fun being in it, but, um, it, like, I, I've, I've accepted that it, it's going to be painful. I've accepted that, you know, um, not every night's going to be my night, but, like, I, I, I look forward to every one of these opportunities, you know, it's just, uh, I could sit here and say, you know, and run my mouth and say all these things that I'm capable of doing, but I can only prove it one way, and that's by stepping into the octagon. So um, I, I look at every opportunity as that, okay, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the, you know, the perfect fight. This is going to be, you know, where I, I show something that the, the, the UFC fans that haven't seen me do yet. That, you know, like, oh, well, I've been doing this for years inside the room, but, you know, in the 30-some-odd the times I've had, the, the, you know, made the walk to the octagon, it just didn't, the, it just didn't come out or, it, or the opportunity wasn't there. So, um, you know, I, I kind of look at every fighter as a, as a, you know, every opponent, right, as a, an opportunity. They, they have a certain skill set, and it's an opportunity for me to uh, show off what I'm capable of. So, um, I mean, when it comes down to, like, you know, Bobby not being able to, to fight, that, that sucks. Like, it's it just, it's, uh, it, it really does suck. You know, like, I, I feel for him. You get sick. You're dealing with stuff. Um, everybody has to deal with things, you know. Like, you can only control so much. Um, but, yeah, it's like, it, it just, it, it really blows. <laughs> you mentioned looking forward to it. And mm -hmm. there's guys, Jim, just like yourself, the veterans, the Dominic Cruz's, Ron Yaya still doing their thing. What's been the key to your longevity that you could still compete on the big stage on ABC on Saturday? Uh, just stubbornness. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, yeah, I, I just, uh, I, I've, I've always kind of listened to my body, you know, even when I was younger in, in training, um, you know, and it's, it's definitely as you get older and, and you start to, you know, kind of stack up some of these injuries that just don't go away. Uh, you know, I've been lucky enough uh, to not really have anything devastating, you know, knock on wood. Um, but, like, you know, there's plenty of things that, like, you know, my knees, my back, my neck, everything's, everything's banged up to a degree. Um, but it's like I know what I need to do to, to fight and to be dangerous, and that's to, you know, be training a certain way and that, and that's to just you know to, to go hard so um, I've, I've listened to my body over the years and, and taken some time when I needed some time um, you know like what the hell fight was that that was when I fought Yancey when I fought Yancey uh, Medeiros I um, it was like 10 days out from the fight and I I ended up getting the most ridiculous like whiplash injury I was the last bar of camp and I actually I had it on film I was I was sparring Mickey Gall and and uh he threw a hook or something like that, and I, I closed the distance, and I just tweaked my neck a little bit, and I was like, that's going to hurt later. Uh, you know, so I, like, finished the round, and uh, I was 10 days from a fight, and, and I could have continued to try to, you know, push it and, and push my body, but it was like, no, man, I just, I just need to take a couple of days and just let it let it relax for a little bit. And fortunately, you know, I went through the fight and was able to, you know, it, it didn't get aggravated, but I was in a, I was in a pretty rough spot for a couple of days there. And then I did end up re, you know, re-aggravating it after the fight. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, yeah, it's just like, you, you gotta, you gotta kind of listen to it. And, and I, I, I've had really good guidance over the years, um, from, uh, you know, one of my mentors, Martin Rooney, and like, he's, he's coached, athletes in, in just about every sport and you know I, I've trained with NFL combine guys and stuff like that and like I look at the way that they train and the way that a majority of us train and it's like day and night uh, the, the the how how much more like scientific and calculated they are and what they're doing where it's like hey every you know oh I'm your jiu-jitsu coach well I'm gonna we're gonna push you hard today well it's like no I just did strength and conditioning 
I just got my cardio work. I should just be doing technique and, you know, like we, we, we definitely mash things together and there's still aspects of our training that I, I don't think have evolved to the level of what the sport has become. So, um, you know, like I've been trying to do that and it's, it's hard because everybody loves sparring and rolling. <laughs> you know, that's the tough part. So, but it's really just been, yeah, stubbornness of, of being in there and, and, and doing what I need to do. Excellent. Thank you, sir, and best of luck no on Saturday. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.